Hi, y'all. This is Fernando. In the uh, last uh, video tutorial, I will show you how to create a dirt effect. Uh, and we use uh, a, a texture to create a dirt effect. But in this video tutorial, I want to use, uh, I want to show you how to create, how to manipulate the UV mapping uh, for the dirt uh, texture. So for that, I'm going to create a third material here. So select uh, dirt. In my black black, uh, black column, I'm going to use some dirt uh, bitmap, so a bitmap. And I want to use the same bitmap that we used in the previous build, so it's going to be this one. OK. And then select OK. For my color, I want to use this color here, the color that I have in, the, in my viewport. So I'm going to use text a color and select click here and use the same color that we have for my uh, wall. Click OK. And also I want to set up, set up my third uh, amount, so 50. I'm going to use uh, 1 in distribution and 16 in my quality. And that's it. I'm going to click OK. And that's it. So if I click preview, I'm going to have a third material like this. But I don't have any UV mapping for my uh, texture. So I'm going to click render to see what we have. I click pause video. As you can see here in the, in the rendering process, the UV mapping is very small because we don't we don't really have any uh, UV mapping at all. So we have to control the UV mapping and in SketchUp. In order to control the UV mapping, we have to create a diffuse layer that that, that this diffuse layer should be in the very top, and then control the UV mapping through uh, that layer. So I'm going to cancel this render, and then. I'm going to create a new layer, diffuse layer, and I'm going to put in this layer the texture that I want to uh, control. So, uh, and also I have to move this layer to the very top in order to control the UV mapping with the top layer. So, here, click on the M, select the texture because we want to control the texture, the bitmap that we use for the dirt. So uh, I use this uh, texture again because this is the one that we want to control. Click OK. You can see the tile is very bad, and this is the effects that we uh, see in the in the render. So I'm gonna select the texture, right click, and change the positions in order to control the scale. Okay, I'm happy with that one. Well, Click the eyedropper to uh, steal the UV mapping and apply the same UV mapping to all my uh, geometry. Now, if I click render like that, I'm going to see this texture in my render because this is the very top uh, position. So I want to make this layer completely transparency. If I uh, make the layer completely transparency using this color, I'm going to hide, I'm going to lose my viewport, uh, just uh, in, in my viewport, the, the wall, just in my viewport, and I don't want to do that. So in order to, to uh, fix that, let me show you what you can see. Okay, if I make this uh, layer or this transparency to white, I'm going to hide the wall. See, so I don't want to do that. So I'm going to put this left back to black, and Select the transparency a color and select white to make this transparency. In this way, you can make the light transparency, but not in the view, just in the final render. That's it. Now I'm gonna click render to see my final result. There we go. You can see here. Uh, during the rendering process that my UV mapping now is, is good. So it's the same UV mapping that I have in my viewport. So uh, using this, this technique, you can control the UV mapping in SketchUp 
and this is very nice to create this kind of effect okay hopefully uh, you can use these tips in the future and see you next time bye bye